Hey everyone, uh, I apologize for the recent increase in ceiling fan videos, however some people might appreciate that. I know that I do enjoy making all these videos, um, but I do promise that I will be getting back to some other content soon. Um, so, but I just have gotten so much cool stuff recently that I just don't know what to do. Um, but anyway, what you see here is a Hunter Robbins and Myers Comfort Breeze ceiling fan. Now, um, this one, <clears throat> I got this one today off of Craigslist, um, and it came with another fan. Uh, it was a, a generic hugger that has a ribbed motor helping, well, sideband, um, and I'll probably do a video of that one as well. But this one uh, was the main priority why I got these two. Um, so it's a 52-inch model. It's in polished brass, and this is one of the earlier models that has a stack motor in it and a rubber flywheel. Now the later, the very latest models that you might have seen, you might be familiar with, have five blades. They have a very similar shape motor housing, um, but they have the more generic nose that's like, that was used in the 90s. <clears throat> and they have the regular like hunter ball and socket canopy. Um, and they have a spinner motor. The earliest ones like this were actually made by Hunter when they were still a division of Robbins and Myers company. So, um, this is essentially a cheapened version of the original, or at least that's what it was designed to be. It's what fan collectors affectionately call the poor man's original. And it was designed to kind of be like a lower end model of the original. And it's definitely shows it's got a similar shape motor housing, a very similar nose. Um, the blade arms are basically the exact same. Um, what else? The canopy is like a cheap inversion. It's like a one piece version of the original canopy. Um, but yeah, uh, the nose is plastic. The canopy is plastic. The motor housing is metal. Although, um, the f finish on these is, I think it's kind of like a, it's like that lacquer, I think. So the finish on this is in very poor condition. Um, yeah, it's not in great condition cosmetically. The blades are in okay condition, but they're also that lacquer. And so when I sprayed them with my Norma cleaner, it started coming off. So I immediately stopped everything and just brushed them off with a paper towel. So, yeah. Um, where have I seen these before? I've seen this version in North Carolina several years ago, in like 2018. Not several years ago. That was just a few years ago. There was like two or three brown ones in this glassware shop, I think it was, in a little town. I think it was like, I think, was it Beaufort? I think it was Beaufort, North Carolina. Um, yeah, there's a little glass shop that had either two or three of these in brown. And those actually did have original canopies, um, like Hunter original canopies. So I'm not sure if maybe they replaced originals or if maybe they got mixed up with originals or if they did come with original canopies um I don't know I haven't seen any other ones with original canopies I don't think um they all have this sort of bell canopy so um this one's also two speed um which is another characteristic of the early originals early R&M originals um so yeah another factor as to why this is kind of a cheap inversion of the original so, I'm going to go ahead and turn the fan on high now. And this fan, this fan means business. This fan is, it's insanely powerful. It's quiet makes absolutely no noise other than the wind noise. There's a little bit of wobble. I tried to balance it as best I could, but I just couldn't get it entirely 100% balanced. It's making me cold, it's so powerful. So that's high speed. High speed is pretty high RPMs as you can see. And here's low speed. So
So, like the early two-speed originals, the R&M ones, like the one that I have, um, the low speed is kind of more like a medium speed in these. And I believe you can convert these to three speed um, a similar way, like you can convert the originals. I'm not sure about that actually, but I assume it can be done because this is just a, I think it's just a regular stack motor. Um, if you can like convert like a Casablanca to three speed from one speed, you should be able to. But I think this one is using capacitor speeds so that shouldn't be too hard to do. It is a very nice medium speed though. Well, a medium speed for a low speed. So yeah, this fan is in pretty rough cosmetic condition. It's definitely seen better days, but it's an excellent runner. And the bearings are still good, which is another thing. The bearings in these motors tend to go bad. Okay. I think I just knocked into the camera. No, oh, it's fine. Turn it off. And now the reverse switch is on top of the motor housing on these. There's low speed in reverse. I haven't tested it in reverse yet, but it is wobbling more. I think I hear some bearing noise or something. I don't know, when I first wired it up, it was in reverse, so they thought they had been running it in reverse, I think at least if they didn't switch the switch when they were up to uninstalling it. There's high speed. Yeah, it's wobbling a little bit worse, but not that much worse, honestly. I don't want to leave it on high too long or it'll start unscrewing the J-hook. Actually, I don't know how much torque this motor has. Well, it did seem to torque pretty, like, heavily when I first started it up there. Alright. It's still moving. So, uh, first of all, this pull chain extension is not original. This is something I added on, just I thought it would look nice. It is an arcless pull chain in there. Uh, the exact same one that the originals used. And, um, your blades, I'm not type, quite sure what type of wood this is. It might be teak. It looks teak, honestly. These blade arms are very similar to the original ones, except they have this kind of peak in the middle. Um, the original ones are more, like, rounded. Um, so, canopy the bell canopy and then there is a hunter tag on the side here this little cute little sticker this little design on the sides and it actually is located right where the reverse switch is on top of the motor so it's very convenient in locating the reverse switch now um oh the robinson myers label is actually on top as well so there's the robinson myers label and the model number you can see it. I think it's like two, three. I can't remember. I can't. I can't even read it. But you can see it up there. Hopefully, if it'll focus. Okay. Hopefully, you saw it. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't have the stool underneath. So, um, you may also be familiar with this this design. Um, because I recorded a video several years ago of this fan right here, this Codep. And this is actually a copy of this model. Um, 
you can see the resemblance very clearly the vents design and at this little hump here it's not as not as tall on this one as it is on this one but it's it's still it definitely resembles these um so these were also copied by uh, moss and tat well tat made tat manufactured them and moss distributed them so they were copied by tat as well um and the tat ones actually are um resemble this model much more they have a this kind of the bigger hump here on the opening for the, where the flywheel is um, but those were all spinner motor models of course this one is stack motor so the nose is plastic like i said and it actually did come with a light kit where is it it fell here's the light kit it came with um but i took the light kit off because it doesn't have a pull chain on it for some reason i don't know what brand this is but it definitely looks older um it didn't have a pull chain on it, so it would just be the light bulb would be on all the time if I'd wired it up to my test mount here. So I just decided to take it off, and I used a nose cap from my polished brass Sears turn of the century. It doesn't look really original because it doesn't say Hunter on it, but maybe someday I'll get a Hunter one just to make it look more authentic. So um, anything else? I don't think so. The foam event screen is still there. As well, that's something that's pretty uncommonly seen that normally disintegrates. Um, but yeah, so that is about it for this video. So that is the Hunter, or Robbins and Myers Hunter, 52-inch uh, Comfort Breeze ceiling fan. So thank you for watching, and more to come.